The House has successfully passed the GOP-sponsored You Can Keep Your Health Care Plan bill, uh, 261 to 157 on near unanimous support from the GOP, and also 39 Democrats who, passed, who crossed party lines to support this bill. Now, uh, this might seem, if you don't dig into the details, like a good thing. Obama did say he intends to extend uh, the, the plans that have been canceled for a year, but this bill goes beyond that. And while the Democrats would have simply made it for the people who already had those plans, this would allow those insurance companies to also sell those plans to new customers for a year. And as we are sure will happen, in a year they will attempt to push it even farther into the future. And so uh, it has passed. Obama has said that he will veto it if it gets to his desk, which is not certain anyway, since the Senate might well vote it down. I'm worried that this is the beginning of disaster. Like the, this might be the great unraveling. Because it, once you say, hey, you know what, for a year we're going to delay, uh, you know, and you can still get the, all the old plans, a lot of the healthy folks in the, are going to say, well, my older plan was less expensive, right? Uh, I got less out of it, but I'm healthy, I'm young, so I don't really need it that much. I'm going to say, so you lose a lot of the healthy, younger people, so then the premiums go up. And when the premiums go up in the exchanges, in the exchanges, yeah. right? Then you've got a bigger issue, and 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 I outlined yesterday on the show five, six different reasons why it's it, this creates a giant mess. Not just the Republican plan that just passed the House, mm -hmm. but even President Obama saying, "I'm going to do it for only one year." So, as I was reading all the articles on this, I was thinking, "Uh oh." Mm -hmm. Well, there's a big difference between, still, now, there may be an issue with what the president wants to do, but there is a big issue between allowing the, because it's such a small number of people. Uh, I mean, it's a big number of people, it's a very small percentage, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we have a lot of people in this country, it turns out. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard that. Uh, yeah, it's the word on the street. Mm -hmm. So that, that if you let the, what is it, three or four percent of people uh, uh, who are affected by this, who are buying private insurance and whose plans and who were not able to keep their plans because their plans were insufficient. If you let them, if you let them, and most of them end up keeping the plan, that's a big difference than allowing other people to buy these cheap, yeah. lousy plans. So, I, I don't think the, the 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 opposition, at least right now, to the GOP addition of letting people buy in, uh, seems pretty strong right now. I mean, I don't, as John said, I don't even think it gets to the Senate. I mean, 39 Democrats did cross over, though, and I personally don't think that this is going to be a very significant issue a year from now when we're in the thick of the midterm elections, but that's the way it's being portrayed, both by politicians and by people in the media. This is the issue. And look how fast we've moved on from the government shutdown fight and the victory of the Democrats and the victory of Obama, who stood strong against the Republicans. Well, what did we have, a two-week reprieve? And now we're, we're back in the thick of this repeal fight. And, uh, and we're just to jump on to what you said before, um, we didn't like it when they delayed uh, businesses having to, uh, to offer these plans for a year. Because then the, the Republicans used that to say, well, you've got to do it for individuals too. And now that Obama came out and said, I'm going to give uh, the people who already have these plans a year, instantly they turned around. And the, the rhetoric has been, this is discrimination against all other Americans. So you give them one inch and they will take a mile every single time. And Boehner has said, he said, look, this he, literally, it, I, this is how I'm going to split this bill apart. A direct like, quote. Yeah, he said, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to split the Democratic Party on this, which is exactly what happened in this vote, right? And then I'm going to rip this uh, uh, health care plan apart one piece by one piece. And Obama gave him one piece as a gift to begin with on the corporate exemption. And then this, and, and they said, look, the whole point of this was, well, you I gotta let you got to let me keep my plan. And now, as John points out, all of a sudden, it's that everybody forgot the point overnight, and yeah. they're like, "Well, it's discrimination. You got to let everybody have the old plan." The old well, then what the hell did we do? This don't protect you. The the whole thing for it's well. it's hard for me to get really excited about it uh, because you need a single payer system, and anything else is bullshit. I mean, you still look. There's what three, four million people in this country in the health insurance industry who are taking a lot of the money and they're not providing any health care. No, like 25-30% of every time. It's of huge. All your, all it's your gigantic. Money. And what you're doing is you're like, oh, we'll build this system with lots of holes in it and you'll still keep making all the profit. That's why it's so expensive. So to your point, Wes, uh, number one, the insurance lobby immediately came out after President Obama announced the plan the other day and said, oh, this will mean higher premiums. Listen, so you're giving them an excuse. Out. No, I know, but you're giving them an excuse to say all the higher premiums, they're not my fault. They're freaking Obama's fault because of this Obamacare yeah. thing, right? 
And, and so now you've got a couple of holes in the boat, and the problem was, as we said on the show, all of us said, as we were you know, fighting over this Obamacare issue, is if you make it this complicated, right, instead of simple, like single payer, mm -hmm. or Medicaid for all, uh, I'm sorry, Medicare for all, it's a, or a public option, which is at least there's one element of it that would have been very simple. I can get this option, and if the private insurance guys can't compete with it, well then, sad day, free market. Well, you couldn't, and that would have provided a great incentive, right? Now, it's enormously complicated, and once you've removed a couple of strands of it, what is it, Jenga that the people play? Yes, and, and I you, don't know any of those people, but right, right. I've heard. Yes, and next thing you know. Dr drinking Jenga, quite fun, actually. Jenga, played with my, over the holidays, like not long after I had my daughter. Jenga's fantastic. <laughs> here's what happens when you play Jenga. Everybody's t laughing and playing and making fun of each other. And, and that's exactly what the Republicans are doing in the House right <laughs> totally, now right. with Obamacare. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I, 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 I just wish that uh, um, I saw Anthony Weiner on the Bill Maher show last week, and he was great. And uh, uh, for first, the way Maher questioned him about his own problems was interesting. Um, because Mar defended him, and Weiner didn't, yeah, didn't want to. It's not like Mar can judge him on anything he's been busted for. I mean, <laughs> seriously. But Weiner did, of course, doesn't want to be come out and be defended. Like that's the last yeah, thing that he, he actually want wants. Right, it. he doesn't want to talk about it. But uh, but then when he got going on health care, oh man, it was just so great, and you were reminded of why you liked this guy so much. You forget the uh, you know, there's plenty of criticism that actually legislatively he wasn't a very effective guy, didn't didn't play well with others. But when it came time to make your side's point, there were few better. And he made the point about single payer and Medicare for all with great passion. And then he made the point about this saying, yeah, I don't know, man, this is not that big a deal. Those plans sucked. He shouldn't waste time apologizing for it. They were bad plans. They weren't good. And yeah, you know what? We put the, 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 those little clamps in the back of cars so that you can put your car seat in and you all pay for them even if you don't have a kid. That's the way it goes. Yeah. You're going to pay for that whether you have a kid or not. That's the way it is in this country. Mm -hmm. And he made it sort of passionately and thought, I get it. The president apologized. I don't care. I don't think he should have. And he should be out there. What he should be doing now is saying, yeah, look, we made a mistake. We weren't clear. Three to four percent of people were going to get their plans changed. That would have happened to 85 percent of those three or four percent anyway, because people on the private system have their health care plans changed every year. So I wasn't clear about that. But the damn truth is we're trying to get 48 million people health insurance. And this is the way it's going to be. We're moving on. See, that's why I'm uh, also afraid of the great unraveling, because even on his signature achievement, he, he doesn't have the gumption to be able to say, Washington is against me. Like on the shutdown and all that stuff, that was easy because Washington was definitely on his side. When Washington came out and said, you lied about it, I can't believe that. That was like Bush, Bush saying, mission accomplished, et cetera. He was like, okay, okay, what do I do? What do I do? How do I fix this? You don't. You do what Anthony Weiner said. You said, look, sad day, okay? Mm -hmm. I should have been more clear about it. Now we move forward because we're not having this debate about Obamacare anymore and we're imp implementing it. You don't know, and oh, I'm going to lose some Democrats, am I? Okay, send it up my way, I'll veto it. If you can get two thirds, good luck to you, okay? I'm vetoing it and I'm moving on with my life. So you can go play Jenga all you fucking like in the house, okay? <laughs>